what has the judge decided, Connie? Well, the judge has decided that he dismissed the application by McBaster Children's Hospital and said this family is free to choose traditional Indigenous medicine, that it is their Aboriginal right to do so, even though under the Child and Family Services Act, this would be a girl in need of protection because the family cho is choosing traditional Indigenous medicine. In his words, uh, they are free to continue that. And there were tears of joy and cheers from the community members in the courtroom as the judge announced that decision just moments ago. And take us through the story of the 11-year-old girl and, and the two sides of the argument here for us, Connie. Well, this girl was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia in August. It's an aggressive form of leukemia. And she spent 10 days at McMaster Children's Hospital receiving chemotherapy before her mother decided to remove her from chemotherapy. She actually went straight to uh, an alternative facility, a clinic in Florida we told you about yesterday called the Hippocrates Health Institute that claims to help people heal themselves. She said that that institute and the philosophies that she she learned at Hippocrates were in line with Indigenous medicine, which her daughter was also taking. She showed us, actually, the, the Indigenous medicine her daughter is taking. It's a tea. She didn't say she knew what was in it, but she said that the, the methods and, and treatment that she learned at Hippocrates complemented that Indigenous treatment. And here today uh, at the courtroom in, courthouse in Brantford, Justice Edward uh, says that it is the family's Aboriginal right to choose their own, it's their constitutional right to choose their own medicine. So where does this go from here? I mean, could McMaster appeal the ruling or would they? We're waiting to find out. McMaster uh, Children's Hospital, their lawyers have actually just left the courthouse. They're not speaking yet. We will hopefully be talking to them very soon. But at this point, uh, you know, the, the ruling is that the girl is free to stay with her family and free to continue the treatment that her mother has chosen for her. Okay. Connie, thank you. That's Connie Walker live in Thanks, Brantford, Russia. Ontario.